Okay, I think one of the benefits of using audio uh, to provide feedback on students' work is the time aspect. Um, lots of our academic staff have very busy teaching schedules and using audio feedback allows them to quickly record feedback that the student needs um, in a very timely manner so it gets that turnaround and feedback on their work back to them when they learn, when they're still in the same learning zone when it actually matters. Um, added to that I think the, the personal aspect of recording the tutor's voice and talking about the student's work is incredibly valuable for both parties. Um, I think what I always say to uh, students is that audio feedback is is not face to face but it is certainly one to one. Okay, the, the example I'd like to share with you uh, about using audio feedback is with our fine art students. Um, previously our, our fine art area has kind of suffered from um, the students not realising they're getting formal feedback in, um, in, a, in the teaching environment. Um, so the, stu the staff are always commenting on the work um, but the students aren't recognising that as formal feedback as they go through. So one way they, they've kind of adapted uh, their programme and delivering feedback is that every two weeks they meet the students, they have a conversation about their work and at the end of that conversation uh, a piece of audio feedback is recorded and then sent to the student just summarising some of the things that have been said in that meeting um, and some of the things that they should be working on the next time they have another meeting which is in two weeks time. Um, and that's worked out really positively for the staff and the students because both parties then know what they should be doing um, and where they're going with their work. Okay, um, so one of the, the key tips I would say um, if you're using audio feedback is, is always to be yourself. Um, and allow your kind of natural speaking voice to come through because I really do think that the students appreciate hearing that and they connect with how you speak on a piece of audio how you actually speak in your lecture room or in your seminar or wherever you're actually talking to them so I think that's incredibly important um, I think it's also useful to say their name you know and introduce um, what you're actually going to be talking about and and also thank them for uh, submitting the work. That's also came through in some of the feedback that we've received here. Um, and I think finally, just make it quite conversational and quite chatty. Um, you don't have to act as if you're Radio 4. Um, you don't have to put on any ears and graces and, or change your accent in any way. I think having a very natural accent is, is quite important. Um, and, and just one kind of final point, if you are kind of reading off about a paper, the students really appreciate hearing that rustle of paper in the background, they, they can hear it, so they know that you're actually reading their work and commenting specifically on their work. Okay, my question to you about audio feedback would be, what are the types of things that you would like to hear in a piece of audio feedback about your work? Okay, so if you were going to use audio feedback, um, what do you feel the benefits would be in using this medium?